Well, thank you, Byron, and we got lucky as well, and we've got our old boy Mvula. So, boys' team strikes again this morning, and it seems as though we are having a wonderful morning. So, leopard number three, three wild dogs, and a whole bunch of elephants certainly is an epic way to start a day and to spend Feline Friday with the old chap Mvula himself, and he's looking fantastic as always. He doesn't look skinny anyway. He's just come out of a really thick, deep drainage off Gauri Cutline, and I'm super impressed that we've even got signal here because Gauri Cutline generally is a difficult place to actually get signal, and so I'm happy that we at least we're able to be gremlin free. And it seems as though he's found himself a spot to now rest. He's been moving, and now he's lying down and just starting to groom himself and he's got a bit of shade there so it seems like the perfect place in order to spend the day and I'm hoping that he'll just lie down here and this afternoon he'll still be around for the girls because it's well it's one thing to be the boys team but it's also awesome just to have Mvula around he's such a special cat and an, and an old one and I know he's a favorite of many of yours because he's got the most beautiful eyes and well he is an older chap and all of a sudden he's almost making a sort of resurgence to this area. Tingana has been not seen too much lately and seems to be too preoccupied down in the south and Mvula's come back and we're seeing so many sightings of him and it really is a pleasure to actually see him and I wonder if Mvula's realized that without Tingana being around here there's a perfect place for him to walk around. Now Nikki you were saying that it's interesting that we haven't been seeing too much of Tingana and but a lot of Mvula and it is it's it's I don't know why Tingana has not been around as much as normal I, I suspect that there's something else going on that Tingana is busy attending to and I think I hypothesize this is not in any way confirmed but I think Kuchava down in the south is starting to come into heat and that's keeping him busy down there I think the scent of her is maybe why he's patrolling further south of us rather than where we are now and also I know that Anderson has been mating with Salehesh so maybe he's been hearing that and been pushing to the west slightly and that's allowing us to get lots of sightings of Mvula which I'm not complaining about I quite like Mvula in fact I really like Mvula he's a beautiful cat and I'm astounded at how well he's done because two years ago everyone was almost writing him off as an old boy that has been dethroned and he's going to lose condition quickly but as you can see, he's done just fine, and he still looks fantastic. He's still got a big set of shoulders on him, and he's not looking skinny at all. Well, since the last time we were seen, I think he must have gotten some sort of a meal. There he goes. Now, don't go into this drainage. Don't be naughty, because if you go in here, I'm not going to be able to follow you too far. But we'll try and keep up with him as best we can. I'm just going to wait for him to come around, because it looks like he's going to come perfectly out into the open through this little gap. There he is. You can just see him coming slowly through now. Come on, boy, turn to your left. No, don't turn to your right. Left, come on. There we go. But look at how good he looks. Nicky, you say you love his tattered ears. I know he does have tatty ears. And, well, he's an old gentleman now. And I say gentleman because he's one of those leopards that is really seems to be quite relaxed around other leopards so you would think that he would be quite aggressive towards other young males and females but I've seen him spend a lot of time with young males and females and been quite chilled with them so I call him a gentleman just because of the way that he interacts with other leopards and I like I know he steals kills from them from time to time but generally he's a very relaxed individual now don't go down there don't be naughty come on stay here The F, you say he looks so tough. Well, he does look tough. He's not a small leopard, make no mistake. He's not quite as large as what we see from Tingana and Anderson, but he's not small either. And he is a very stocky leopard. He's thick around the shoulders and the neck area. And he's a leopard that he, you kind of, when he looks at you, he almost looks as though he means business. So he's one that I really enjoy seeing. And when you see his eyes, which hopefully he'll stop enough for me to get to his eyes, then you'll see he's got the most intimidating set of eyes. When he was younger and really in his prime, when he looked at you, you knew that you were being stared at by a big dominant male leopard. Now where has he gone? Oh, there he is. I can see him. He's coming straight through. He should come right through towards us now, I hope. No, don't turn that way. No. Keep coming this way, boy. 
So he's just in this thicket. And this is what I was saying just now, is that it is a really difficult place to move around. And I was hoping that he was going to settle and start to kind of groom himself. But I think where he was, maybe it was just got a little bit too hot for him. And so he's now moving again and trying to kind of get down and get towards a better shady area but he's going to come straight towards us and like I say look at these eyes when he comes through he's gonna come through this gap in front of me now and the eyes are something phenomenal no, don't turn that way because we can't see your eyes then there we go look at that isn't he beautiful hello old friend it has been a long time that I have been seeing this leopard so the first time I laid eyes upon Mvula was in early 2011 and so that is not a short period to have spent around him and I've seen lots of amazing sightings with him, spent a lot of time in his presence, followed him, seen some of the most incredible interactions like we were talking about just now and so he really is like an old friend Mvula, I've really enjoyed the time that I have gotten to spend around this cat. He still has probably the singular best hunt that I've seen by a leopard and it was because it was like almost cheetah like in the way that he went about it he basically chased from over 100 meters away and managed to pull down this impala it was really quite something to watch he was incredible is that because normally leopards are ambush predators they'll go and they'll try and stalk and they get very close and then they ambush from there but he was a little bit different he chased from over 100 meters away and he just sprinted like a cheetah would caused absolute panic and one impala ran straight at him he then grabbed this impala a fully grown male impala grabbed that pulled it down suffocated it hyenas arrived he then dragged it all the way it must have been about 50 meters to a tree as he got to the base of the tree, he jumped with the carcass, and the carcass was too heavy after all of this running and carrying on. I think he was a bit exhausted. And as he jumped, the hyena grabbed the leg of the impala, and it was just too much weight with the impala and the hyena, and he dropped it, and the hyenas took it. But it was just the most incredible sighting to have watched and to see a leopard hunt in a way that is very different to what everyone believes leopards hunt like. He didn't just kind of go in and stalk and take his time. He just ran from across an open area, and it was very cool to see unfortunately it was really in sort of dingy light so i didn't get any photos of him doing it but it was just incredible to watch a leopard move that way now he's going into an area where i really don't think i'm going to be able to follow him i'm going to try but i don't think it's going to be possible now i believe byron is sitting with something that mvula himself patiently sat and waited for and is something that he really likes to go after so while i catch up with him let's go see what byron has